question five. In question five, students are being asked to construct a clustered bar graph. A clustered bar graph is meant to explore relationship between two categories of data. In this case, I have level of education and gender. Is there any possible relationship between level of education and the gender of a person? So what we need to do here is we use clustered bar graph to visualize any possible relationship or to explore if there is in fact any concentration of one category vis-a-vis -vis the other. So question five takes you to construct a clustered bar graph in this demo to explore the relationship between employees' educational level and the gender of the employees. To do this, we make sure the cursor sit anywhere the data is. We go to Insert, select Pivot Chart. Again, Excel recognize our data it gives it a reference point in this box. The next thing to do is to click on the existing worksheet and then to specify which location on the existing worksheet you want to place your results. And you do that by making sure that the, you click on this box and the cursor is blinking. And then click on anywhere in your blank worksheet. And then from here, you make sure you click OK. You don't have to see this, but just if suppose this happens to you, just click OK and that should still be fine. The next is this is your template, the clustered bar graph template. Then you have two entities listed in this area of your template. And this is level of education and gender. Whatever is on in your data list will appear in this segment of your template, right? So the first is level of education, the second is gender. And the question asks you to explore the relationship between employees, level of education, which should be placed in the axis, and your gender should be placed in the legend segment. So going back to your template, educational level should be placed in your axis, as shown right here, and your gender should be placed in the legend section, which is right here. Yes. And then you pick any data, any of this entity, any one of them, it doesn't matter. Drag and drop it to the values so that Excel count them. And that is it, it's counted. So you notice that Excel show side by side the legend male and female in terms of high school, postgraduate, postgraduate, pre-high, and undergrad. So you can in fact compare the genders in terms of which gender has more education in any one level of category of your educational levels. Now, few things we need to do, actually only one thing to do, is to change this into percentage. So we're going to, again, go back to our table that came with our graph right mouse click on the values any of the values right mouse click and show values as percentage of column total we are picking a column total because we want to explore if there's a relationship between the two data items so we click column total and not the grand total or not the row total, but in fact the column total. And then here we go. We have 
our results. So now students are then asked to comment on this graph. Whatever they see from the graph is commented on and to explore if there is any potential relationship between gender and educational level. In this case, I can see that when it comes to high school, there are more females with high school education than the male. When it comes to undergraduate, there are more male who are educated, who has received that level of education than female, and the same applies to postgraduate. So it seems the male are more in postgraduate and undergrad, whereas the female, we have more females in the high school and pre-high. So it's in general, the male have higher form of education than the female, as being shown right on this graph. So that's what comes up, and one of the comments you may want to make. 